Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, January 4th, 2018. And today in our Tech News, we have Uber app. Well, actually a fake Uber app is trying to actually steal your credentials. It is a new malware that is actually uh, not super popular yet, but it is actually increasing in uh, infection rates. What's happening is that this app is not an app from the Play Store. And, you know, we always have these little things. We always say that, you know, you should install apps from the Play Store, even though sometimes Google does goof a little bit. Sometimes they kind of, you know, have a bad app in there. But in general, it's so much safer than actually downloading any apps from third party websites. So this is an app that is our malware that is actually installed on other things. What it does is it actually pops up a Uber-like uh, page and just tricks you into giving your credentials. Well, cheap battery replacement from Apple at $29, uh, according to a report, means that Apple might actually sell 16 million less new iPhones this year, which will be creating a substantial financial loss for the company. And when you hear something like that, you kind of wonder, yeah, you kind of are in the middle. I am in the middle. I'm in halfway from the, yeah, okay, I understand why you do throttled phones when the battery's down. With a mix of, yeah, but you are just demonstrating what everybody says. You're not going to sell as many phones. Huh, kind of interesting here. Fuchsia is, of course, the new OS. It's Google's new operating system. It's an open source operating system. And if you own a Pixelbook or a handful of select devices that you can check out on the Fuchsia website, basically, uh, you can install Fuchsia for free on your device and play with it and just have fun. So basically, it is only on a very few select devices, including the Pixelbook. And uh, this demonstrates that Fuchsia is getting really close to uh, being ready. So yesterday we talked about the security problem about the Intel CPUs. Well, it's much larger than that. Intel, about an hour after I posted my news bulletin, um, wanted to just put things straight and say, wait a minute, uh, it's not just us, it's AMD and it's ARM also. And yes, it is all the CPUs. And basically what's happening with this is that not only is your PC uh, affected by this problem, it's also your smartphone and your Mac PC and your Linux machine. Now, Linux and Mac OS have updates. Windows 10 has rolled out a security update yesterday really quickly. Uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 users will be patched next Tuesday. And for the smartphones, there will be updates going to your devices, including iPhones and iPads that are affected by this. So it's kind of interesting here. And uh, it is a really, really huge flaw. Opera is at version 50. It was released today, version 50, and has one of the new major features. It blocks cryptocurrency mining or Bitcoin mining on your browser when you visit web pages. In this latest version and i will take a look at this by the way i'll be actually posting my review of the opera browser a little later today as i'll play with it and uh, see what's new in here at the same time so opera 50 available as of today january 4th well cortana lost a functionality when groove music moved to spotify the Microsoft Groove app can no longer actually help Cortana recognize songs like Shazam used to do. And Microsoft did confirm that that functionality is gone with the fact that Groove Music isn't actually connecting to music servers anymore. So uh, one less feature that is a sad one because this is a pretty good feature in general. So is Windows 10 still free? Here's the thing. Uh, GX, which is a well-known website that you know, tests all sorts of little things like that, says that, okay, if down to earth, if you actually try to use assistive technology, um, yeah, it's not free anymore. 
but they say that there's a really, really easy fix that if you just manually copy a DLL file manually, the upgrade actually goes through for free. Also, they have tested if you use a valid Windows 8 or Windows 7 key, does it still have free upgrade? Well, apparently, yes. They've used a Windows 7 key and a Windows 8 key and upgraded their PCs that activated without a flaw for free. So it seems that that loophole is not closed. And as they say, Microsoft might not be that, um, you know, uh, it might not be that interested in closing this loophole, basically, which is far from being something that they really care about. That guy, Agit Pie, is uh, really, you know, somebody that a lot of people don't like right now because of the uh, net neutrality being gone because of, and partly because of him. Well, he was supposed to appear at the Consumer Electronics Show, which is a week from now. And about a week before the show, <clears throat> well, he said he won't be there. Uh-huh. I wonder what, uh, why he's not going. He was supposed to answer questions about net neutrality. And uh, I think that guy's kind of scared that at Consumer Electronics Show, he might not be welcome. And finally, a interesting little report coming out uh, from Nielsen that, of course, takes polls of all sorts of little things. Well, it seems that at the end of 2017, the majority of audio consumption is now done by on-demand streaming services. It is the first time that on-demand streaming beats every other type of music service. And as CD sales are actually going down again, Nielsen says people stream their music now. 54% of all the music that was listened to in December was actually streamed online. That is up from 38% a year earlier. So this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, January the 4th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.